You can tell the pitmasters are making the magic happen every time you walk through the doors of Kreitz Market. The delicious smell of smoked meats greets your every visit. Not going to be in Lockhart for a while? Kreitz Market ships nationwide. Stop by Kreitz Market at 619 North Colorado in Lockhart or find us on the web, kreitzmarket.com. That's K-R-E-U-Z market.com. No sauce, no forks, just good taste naturally. First Lockhart National Bank has been meeting the needs of Caldwell County since 1889. We now serve Travis County with a branch on Slaughter Lane and Hayes County with a branch in Kyle, plus a brand new location in San Marcos. As a member of each of the communities we serve, our relationship bankers, tellers, loan officers, and managers are committed to achieving the financial goals of every customer, one interaction at a time. So whether you're dreaming of a new house, buying a boat, or sending your children off to college, First Lockhart National Bank will be there every step of the way with financial services and guidance you can trust. Parenting is full of surprises. You never know what to expect. So after our son was born, I called my Texas Farm Bureau insurance agent to set up a life insurance policy in case something happened to me. Sawyer is now two. And we'll soon have a sister. There's no one else I would trust with protecting my family. Coverage and discounts are subject to qualifications and policy terms and may vary by situation. Hello, Americans. Mark Twain said, a broken promise is better than no promise at all. Well, you and I both know when we make a promise, we keep it. Chuck Nash Auto Group has been doing that for years. They offer up the kind of one-on-one service that will follow the taillights of your pre-owned vehicle deep into that gorgeous Texas sunset. By the way, Chuck Nash will give you $750 more for your car, buy or trade. And now you know the best of the story. If you're more of a my money works for me kind of person, you're going to love Free Kasasa cash checking from First Lockhart National Bank. With a few simple qualifications, your account will earn a great rate on the money you have with us. To learn more about Kasasa cash checking, head on over to First Lockhart National Bank. Dr. Peterson and his staff at Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic are here to serve you. We've been voted best chiropractor and best chiropractor's office for five years running. Are you bothered by headaches, back pain, or neck pain? Call Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic at 512-668-4163 to make your appointment. Mention this ad to receive a consultation, exam, and x-rays if needed for only $20. Call 512-668-4163 and begin your journey to hope, healing, and health. All right, we're here at Lockhart Stadium. The Lady Lions getting ready to take on another district foe as the Crockett Cougars are in town in the JV game. Uh, the Lady Lions and the Cougars tied 6-6 as time ran out on both of them. They're announcing the starting lineups tonight. This is John Rodriguez, PA announcer. That was John Larry, I'm sorry.
All right, so there you have it. We're getting ready to start here. Uh, district play, Lady Lions come in undefeated. They got a, uh, a nice little gift yesterday as they were supposed to play Travis and Travis. Nobody knows why the game was canceled, but the game was canceled, and they'll get a big W out of that one. And so tonight we have Crockett in town. Crockett is a very young squad. As a matter of fact, a lot of the girls that played some of the JV game are going to play in the varsity game as well. It's a very young squad. It's a pretty good squad, um, according to coach carline and and uh tonight he's going to try to get leah herrera as many innings as he can because the playoffs are just around the corner uh they go on the road tuesday they're back home for senior night against anderson high the number two team the only team that really has given lockhart a game this year and if you call nine to one a game that kind of tells you where it's at but uh anderson will be here next friday senior night and hoping that will pretty much Lock everything up for the Lady Lions as the number one seed. We know, we know for a fact that they're going to be uh, in the playoffs. There's no doubt about that. So we have, we have the boys going on behind us right now in varsity play, and we also have uh, the girls here. If you want to watch boys baseball, you can switch over to the Lions Pride, and Emilio Juarez is bringing you the play-by-play -play there. So we have gotten everything in in, in check here. Leah Herrera will be pitching the right-hander. Brings up number 22. Tess waits the shortstop for Crockett. And foul that out of play. Tonight I'll be doing the uh, producing and the scoreboard, the commercials, the play-by-play. -play. I got it all tonight. Carrie's at a softball practice with her daughter, so she's not with us this evening. Swing and a miss, strike number two. Leah well, looking good early on. Got a win kind of blown in from left field. Might be pushing more from left to right, but a beautiful night for softball. And good pitch to waste right there. Don't want to give up anything too early. Fouls it off, be one and two. In the dirt, two and two. <clears throat> Herrera bringing the two two count. Little high makes it a full count. Ground ball to the left side. Raina comes up with it, but she's not going to be able to make a play on it. Good defensive play. Score that an infield single. So number four, Sierra Salazar will be the batter. And I've never seen two girls with the same name, but with the unusual first spelling, C-I-E-R-A. We got two of them here. And i uh, heard the name before, but never spelled like that. So that's kind of neat. So runner at first, Salazar the batter. Herrera comes to the plate. They bunt. Herrera throws to first, and they get her. Sacrifice play. So Ryan Trevino, number 13, the catcher, will be batting left-handed. Runner at second, one out. Yeah. 
Give a shout out to the Rock and Rev, Randy Fry, the man that started the Lion Country Broadcast Network. He's the QA tonight. Larry Rodriguez says hello, Randy. What's the money you owe him? <laughs> So Herrera coming to Trevino with the 1-0 count here, top of the first. A little high. She hasn't quite found the rhythm yet, but once she does, she gets to clicking pretty good. Ooh. And the runner will advance to third on a wild pitch. It's now 3-0. and And the Coach Carline's going to go out and talk to her already with the 3-0 count. So, again, basically what we have left with Lion Country is we will have next Friday's uh, senior night. And uh, the senior night game will be uh, televised for you here Friday night. I, I think Randy may be working that game as well. Um, <laughs> We also will be covering Lady Lions softball playoffs once we find out who they're playing. Here we go. Can never go wrong with that. Scoreboard has gone crazy. <laughs> Three and O's the count here. Runner at third. Fouls it off. Little surprise she had the green light to go on that one. So three and one. The scoreboard is now possessed. And she'll walk her. So she'll get a free pass. Runners at the corners. <clears throat> One thing that uh, Larry had pointed out earlier, and I have not seen it in forever either, and that was someone flying a kite outside. Runners at the corners brings up the pitcher, Sierra Dickey, and going to try to help her own cause here, right-handed batter. That was kind of close, but he calls it a ball. Fouls it off, one on one. Definitely wanting to swing the bat. And if you've noticed that in kind of view of the camera and catcher and home plate, we have many of the gloves of all the district championships and things of that nature around. They're all over the place tonight. Swing and a miss. They're going to try to pick her off a third. It gets by her, and they're going to score a run on that one. <coughs> Runner advances to third. So first strike of the blood is for the Cougars. <clears throat> One and two's the count. Runner at third. Coach. Guess while we got the dead kind of some dead time here, catcher talking to the pitcher. Give a shout out to Clarence from Berta Smith in Austin, Texas, watching the game tonight. Shout shout out to Vanessa Smith uh, at home. Probably knowing her, she's cleaning the house and listening as well. Count is one and two, one out runner at third here. Cougars have struck first. Oh wow, I cannot believe that was not a strike. Two and two is the count. I thought the pitcher was, should have been walking back to the dugout. Three and two. <coughs> Coach told me before the game he wanted Herrera to get her work in tonight, and she's doing that here in the first inning. Three and two is the count. Struck her out looking. Nice pitch on the outside corner. Out number two. Third 
Austin Ibarra, and the third baseman, has a runner at third with two outs. Ball one. Two and over the count. Mm -hmm. Two and over the count, two outs, runner at third. Herrera trying to get out of the inning with just one run of damage so far. Reno. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Three and one's the count. Two outs. Runner at third. One to nothing is the score already as the Cougars were able to score on a Kind of an error by the catcher. She was trying to pick the girl off at third, threw it away, and, and that's how they got their run. So it's really not even an earned run. Pop fly, first baseman, makes the catch. What a hustle. That will end the inning. Toll finishes them off. One run on one hit, one left. And after a half inning of play, it's the Cougars one. Lockhart Lions getting ready to come up to bat. You're watching Lion Country Broadcast Network, fueled by Vibe Live. Johnny & Sons Pain and Body has been Lockhart's premier collision repair and auto body shop since 1967. Certified iCar Standard, the highest ranking in the collision industry. For all your collision needs, come by and see Johnny & Sons, 400 Blackjack in Lockhart. Johnny & Sons Pain and Body, we won't steer you wrong. Chisholm Trail Barbecue features slow-cooked brisket, hot sausage, beef, and pork ribs done the right way. In a town famous for barbecue, Chisholm Trail is where the locals come to eat. Visit Chisholm Trail Barbecue, 1323 South Colorado in Lockhart, and come by after the game. Chisholm Trail Barbecue stays open until midnight after every home football game. Part Design Build LLC is a general contractor who resides and serves Lockhart residents and surrounding communities. Part Design Build LLC is a local builder established in 2006 and is insured, bonded, and accredited by the Better Business Bureau. Part Design Build LLC provides both residential and commercial new construction, remodeling services, and specializes in kitchen and bath design. Call 512-784-6940 or email kpartdesignbuild at yahoo.com to schedule a consultation with free estimate. Follow them on Facebook at Kpart Design Build and at Kpart Kitchen Bath. Green Group Holdings is a proud sponsor of Lion Country. Green Group is an environmental services company that specializes in the planning, implementation, and operation of waste disposal, recycling, reuse, and restoration projects. These projects are designed with the environment and safety as the highest priorities, with an approach that provides significant value to the communities in which they're located. Currently, Green Group is proposing a development in northern Caldwell County, 130 Environmental Park. This proposed project will be a state-of-the-art, environmentally friendly, mixed-use development a few miles north of Lockhart, Texas. All right, we're back here, and we're going to be uh, – <laughs> It's going to be an interesting game tonight as Ms. Dickey's quite a pitcher. She's bringing it tonight. We'll see how things roll for us. Leading off will be number one, Ava Vega, the left fielder. If you can see the scoreboard in the background, every once in a while it goes like crazy. No 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 <laughs> there we go. So ball one, start the... Bottom of the first, one nothing. The Cougars on top. Two and zero. Oh. <coughs> Two and zero oh is a count. 
In every game I've called thus far for the Lady Lions, Vegas had a good outing at the plate, gets on base a lot, scores a lot of runs. 3-0. I doubt she'll be swinging on this one. Ball four. She'll take her base. Four straight pitches. Next up to bat, center fielder, number 10, Tori Escobedo. So the left-hander, Tori Escobedo, number 10, playing center field, has a good opportunity here to move a runner, and that's pretty much what she's great at, moving runners. She will sneak one to the outfield on you. If you think she's just going to slap, she will slap it over the head of the infielder and get it to the outfield. Looks like we got a runner coming in. Ouch. So Bethany Ramirez is on first. Escobedo at the plate. That'll be ball three. The runner's on her way to second. They're going to hold it up. So a wild pitch moves her to second base. She'll put the bunt down, but it goes foul. Pitch is outside. It'll make it two and one. I have to say it is refreshing to see a team that knows what's going on and has a pitcher that throws fast. Three and one. Herrera is on deck. Bun is down to third base side. They're going to throw it across the diamond. She's safe. And a run is going to score. So they'll tie it up on their first two batters. So, Leah Herrera is up. She's going to be doing some more softball for the college level. Going to help her cause tonight as she is pitching this evening. She has Escobedo at uh, first base. Speed everywhere. She squares up. Runner's going, and she's safe in the second base. I don't think that the Lions could have asked for any better of a schedule to get Crockett and then to turn around and play Anderson on back-to-back -back Friday nights to get them ready for the playoffs. Fly ball down the right field. Lions going to go foul. 0-2 is the count to Herrera. One and two. Ooh, 
Ooh, that was close. Two and two is the count. Two and two count, no outs, runner at second, Herrera the batter. Tied at one here in the bottom of the first. Swing and a miss, struck her out. Out number one. Brings up Tamara Reyna, the number seven, the shortstop. Now batting shortstop, number seven, Tamara Reyna. Tamara has been punishing the softball this year. Has a duck on the pond at second base, maybe drive her in. Wing and a miss, strike one. And to be honest, I, I I haven't seen all the games, but I know that they haven't seen a pitcher throwing this hard. Not not any of the games I've called. It may take them a bit to get used to her. Line down the line, foul, the one two. The good thing about this, the way Tamara swings the bat, and as hard as this girl's throwing, if they connect, this ball is going to be traveling. 0-2 count, runner second, one out. Ground ball to the right side, an error by the first baseman, and they get her at first, but the run is going to score. So Tamara is called out at first, but she does get an RBI on it. Two to one, Lady Lions have taken over again. Pineda, the catcher. Left-handed hitter, nobody on, swing and miss, strike one. Owen wins the count. Two to one. Lady Lions on top. Bottom of the first. <coughs> oh, she got hit. That's just going to make Pineda laugh. I think Pineda actually likes getting hit by softballs. Tough girl. Brings up number four, Jasmine Hitspeth, the right fielder. Two to one, runner at first, two outs. Looks like Renteria is now running. Inside, ball one. <coughs> ball high, two and out of hits, but tried to sneak in behind the runner. Ground ball up the middle. That might end the inning, and she steps on second, and it does. So six unassisted at second base. That's one complete inning. One run, one hit, or two runs, one hit. No errors and one left. After one inning of play, it's your Lockhart Lady Lions 2, the Crockett Cougars 1. You're watching Lion Country Broadcast Network, fueled by Vipe Live. For over 15 years, Raina Drywall and Paint has been serving Lockhart and the surrounding counties. We are experienced in all phases of construction. You can count on us for any exterior or interior painting job. Call 512-925-0634 to schedule an appointment with Raina Drywall and Paint today. 
Come on in to Texas Oil Express, where we can change your oil in under 10 minutes. We also do inspection stickers. Be sure to shop Lockhart first and check us out on Facebook. Voted Caldwell County's best oil change in 2008. Link Realty proudly supports Lockhart Lions Athletics. For all of your real estate needs, come see Link Realty on the square in Lockhart or visit them online at linkrealtytx.com. All right, we are back here for the top of the second. I want to give a shout-out again to Randy Fry. Randy, again, started Lion Country Broadcast Network. I want to say it was about seven or eight years ago, and uh, it was just for football, and all of a sudden it branched out, and we're doing all sports now. It's going to bring up, uh, let's see, number 10, Natalie Rodriguez, the first baseman here in the top of the second. Again, two to one is the score. There's a foul ball. One and one is the count. Two strikes. Line drive down the first base line. Great catch by the first baseman. Great catch by the first baseman. So Melina Barone is batting. Herrera has seemed to have found her groove here. Let's hope she keeps in it. Oh my goodness, how that was not a strike, I have no idea. There's the strike. I don't know, maybe Aaliyah was messing with him in the first inning. She looks like herself right now. Ground ball to the right side. Second baseman was there, throws to first. 4-3 on the put out. Two outs. Lady Lions defense looking good here in the second. Lily Rangel, number one, the uh, center fielder, the batter now. Strike one. As long as Herrera can stay on this little pace thing that she's got going on, we're going to be just fine. Swing and a miss, strike two. Number eight hitter for Crockett. <laughs> oh, and two's the count. Fouls it back. Wow, that ball just about hit her in the head and she swung at it and put it in foul territory. Oh and two, two outs here by our top of the second. Struck her out looking and that's how it's gonna end after three batters and three outs and we have played an inning and a half. And after that inning and a half, it is Crockett 1, the Lady Lions 2. You're watching Lion Country Broadcast Network, fueled by Vipe Live. Oh, 
For your plumbing service work in Caldwell County, call Darren Meitler from Meitler Plumbing at 512-398-3146. Meitler Plumbing, a local and family business, has been in the Caldwell County area for over 30 years. Voted best plumber in Caldwell County multiple times. Holds a master's license and bonded. Call Meitler Plumbing for your plumbing service work at 512-398-3146. Owner Darren Meitler, a 1989 Lockhart alumni and football captain for the Lockhart Lions. Go Lions! Once a lion, always a lion. Link Realty proudly supports Lockhart Lions Athletics. For all of your real estate needs, come see Link Realty on the square in Lockhart or visit them online at linkrealtytx.com. We are back. Bottom of the second. Let me get the scoreboard caught up for you. So the Lions give up a run in the first inning and come back and get them one, two, three in the second inning. Liz Smith, the designated hitter or extra hitter, however you want to use it. Ground ball foul. Got to see her sister pitch in the JV game. One and one the count now. Got her on the outside corner, one and two. Struck her out. Out number one here in the bottom of the second. Next up to bat, first baseman, number 15, Cecilia Toll. Cecilia Toll, the batter. Ball the right side, it's gonna get through. It's a little, had its own eyes there and then they throw it away, but they're gonna leave her at first. Catcher did a good job of backing that up. Mackenzie Mendoza, the second baseman. One out runner at first, Mendoza the batter. They could do up next. Ball inside. Foul ball. One and one. Round ball to the left side, it's through. Runners at first and second. <clears throat> Number one, Ava Vega, the left fielder, has walked and scored a run tonight. She's gonna bat here in consecutive innings. One and home. <coughs> oh, 
two and O's account now. Got her with that one. Two and one. Foul ball out of play. Two and two. There's one out, two twos the count, and runners at first and second. Dickey has pitched well. She's keeping her team in the ball game. They get with the two two count now. Pop foul out of play. Emilio just told me that the Anderson boys have hit three straight home runs and lead Lockhart five to one right on the back behind us here. Foul ball is Vega battling in there. Still two and two. Full count. Inside, ball four. Bases are loaded now. That is the second walk for Vega. Gonna bring up number 10, Tori Escobedo. Single score to run. <clears throat> Usually bunts, not this time. Swing and a miss, strike one. Swing and a miss, strike two. Dickey with the 0-2 count. Ball one. Two and two. Swing and a miss, struck her out with the bases loaded. Two outs. 
Brings up the pitcher, Leah Herrera. Leah struck out her first at bat. She's got the bases loaded here, two outs. Ball high. In the dirt, 2-0. and oh. High fly ball, center fielder's under it, and she'll make the play, so they strand three. They had uh, no runs, two hits, no errors, three were left. After two complete, it's the Lady Lions two, Concordia, Concordia, sorry, Crockett one. You're watching Lion Country Podcast Never Fueled by Vibe Live. Central Texas Refuse LLC is a highly respected full-service waste collection and recycling company serving Central Texas and the surrounding areas. CTR has proudly been servicing the cities of Round Rock, Cedar Park, and Lockhart for decades. CTR is one of the largest independent waste collection service companies in Central Texas. Founded in 1981, CTR has grown through organic expansion and currently operates from four primary locations in Southeast Austin, Round Rock, Lockhart, and from Wilco, a comprehensive single stream recycling facility in Williamson County. CTR is honored to be a sponsor of Lockhart High School Boys and Girls Sports. Go Lions! Well, that was interesting as our commercials just kind of disappeared. Try to bring those back up. Well, we are getting ourselves ready to roll here in the top of the third. <coughs> so this will bring up Rayana Robles, the right fielder. She has a strike already. Just outside, one on one. <coughs> Two strikes. Trying to strike out her second straight batter is Herrera. Swing and a miss. Catcher caught it. Oh, she dropped it. I thought she caught it. Swing and a miss, struck her out. That'll bring up the leadoff hitter, number 22, Tess Waits, is shortstop. She singled and scored a run. It was an unearned run, but it was still a run. Fly ball to left field, and she'll make the catch. Two outs. Vega comes up big and left. So two outs here. Herrera struggled in the first inning, but has pretty much been on fire here the last two innings. 
Sierra Salazar the batter. She sacrificed bunted the first time up. Swing and a miss there. Coach told me before the game he wanted to get Herrera a lot of innings, and he was going to try to make sure that that happened, and I don't think he's going to have to worry about it because we have his ball game here. A little bit inside, he said, one and one. Swing and a miss with a nasty little change up there. One and two. So many pitches to choose from. What do you throw here? One and two, the count, two outs, nobody on. Top of the third, two to one, Lady Lions. And you waste one to see if she'll go after it. Two and two. Swing and a miss. Strikes her out, and that'll end the top of the third. No runs, no hits, no errors. We played two and a half innings. It's the Crockett Cougars one, the Lady Lions two, you're watching Lion Country Broadcast Network, fueled by Vipe Live. You can tell the pitmasters are making the magic happen every time you walk through the doors of Kreitz Market. The delicious smell of smoked meats greets your every visit. Not going to be in Lockhart for a while? Kreitz Market ships nationwide. Stop by Kreitz Market at 619 North Colorado in Lockhart or find us on the web, kreitzmarket.com. That's K-R-E-U-Z market.com. No sauce, no forks, just good taste naturally. If you're more of a my money works for me kind of person, you're going to love free Kasasa cash checking from First Lockhart National Bank. With a few simple qualifications, your account will earn a great rate on the money you have with us. To learn more about Kasasa cash checking, head on over to First Lockhart National Bank. We are back. Bottom of the third inning. So that'll bring up the hitter, Tamar Reyna. The shortstop. Had a sacrifice kind of hit play the last time with an RBI. Two to one Lady Lions here, to, uh, bottom of the third inning. The last I knew the boys on the baseball diamond were down five to one as the Anderson boys had hit three back to back to back home runs. There's a line drive down the left field line. That's in the corner. She's going to get at least two out of it. A double for Reyna. Brings up Malicia Pereira. Tamar did not make me a liar. She ripped that one down the left field line. I think she thought she missed first base because she had kind of slowed down a little bit. And then that would have probably been a triple had she had not, you know, kind of stopped. But still, a double is a double. We'll take it. Ball high. One and knows the count to Pereira, the left-handed catcher. Two and zero. Oh. It is amazing to be at this point of a ball game, and there's no way in the world, unless we just start ripping the cover off the ball, that we're gonna have a run rule. Usually, the games are over by now. Three knows the count. A single could possibly score a run here. Strike number one. Up 
Fouls it out of play. No, she did. She hit the net. Three and two. Three and two the count. Runner at second. No outs. Line drive to left field. That's in for a hit. Tamar's on her way home, and she's going to score standing up. So an RBI single for Pereira. Brings up the right fielder, Jasmine Hedspeth. Three to one, Lady Lions on top now. Kind of been waiting for them to time the the bat or the pitcher here because they're not used to seeing people throw this hard. Renteria, the runner at first right now. The bunt is down. It's a good bunt, and she's going to beat it. Infield single. Hedspeth looking good on the bunt. That was beautiful. I don't even know if that could have been done any better. So Elizabeth Smith, the extra hitter DH going on. Runners at first and second, no outs. The Lady Lions have strung three hits in a row now. Bunt is down again. It's another beautiful bunt, and then everybody's safe. Another bunt for an infield single. And by the way, the bases are loaded now. And I'm not real sure you want to see CC Toll right now with the bases loaded. <coughs> Toll singled her last at bat. Four hits, a double and three singles. Two of those singles off bunts have loaded the bases for Miss Toll. A little high. As a pitcher, you do not want to get this in her wheelhouse because I have seen her crush softballs before. A little high, 2-0. and oh. Bottom of the third, 3-1 right now. Lady Lions on top. 3-0. She is not wanting to give her anything right now, and that's probably a good decision. The number nine hitter will be up next. Ooh, fouls it off down the right field line. She had the green light. 3-1 and one now. Beautiful night for softball, not much wind. There is wind, but not much. I honestly have never called a softball game where it got dark before. And they're going to walk her, so she'll get an RBI on a walk. So Mackenzie Mendoza will come up. Let's see, she singled her last time up. Two runs have scored, four hits in a row, and a walk. The coach is now talking to his team, the pitcher over there. As I've said numerous times in the broadcast already first of all i've never seen it get dark in a softball game before and uh usually the game is over by now and so this is good good softball for the lady lions right before the playoffs mckenzie mendoza 
Bases loaded, no outs. Ground ball up the middle, it's through, and it's gonna score a couple runs. So Mendoza singles in two runs. Lady Lions getting hot with the bats now. Well, brings up the leadoff hitter, Ava Vega. Six to one now here in the bottom of the third. Bunt is down, and everybody's going to be safe. No, oh, the foul ball, okay. Ava has walked twice and scored a run. So one and one is the count. Bases are loaded. No out. Or I'm sorry. Runners are first and second. No outs. Give a shout out again to the Randy Fry, the Rock and Rev, the bass playing fool who started Lion Country Broadcast Network doing the QA tonight all the way from Missouri. And as I like to call it, misery. Because if you were a KU fan, you hated Missouri. Two and one's a count. Three and one now. Escovedo is up next, or due up next. There's a strike. Full count. Ground ball to the left side. It gets through. It's an error. And the bases are loaded now as the top of the order is getting kind of running through and getting some hits for us. This is where it could get scary. Tori Escobedo comes to the plate with the bases loaded and no outs. She has singled and struck out and scored a run. One and oh. If you have never been to a Lockhart softball game or any softball game before, you used to, you would think here softball games are only three innings long. But tonight we're actually getting to see one that's going to maybe go the distance here. But right now the Lady Lions are putting some runs on the boards with some good hits and some good bunting. Six to one, bottom of the third. If I remember right, Anderson also, I think Anderson might have homered against us to start the first inning, and then they never scored again as we went on to beat them 9-1 to one last time. They'll be here next Friday. Loops down the left field line but goes foul. 2-2. Two and two. Two and two is the count. Bases are loaded. Escobedo. Swing and a miss. So that'll be the first out of the inning. 
Well, that'll bring up the pitcher, Leah Herrera. She has struck out and flown out to left. And with the bases loaded right now and her pitching, you know she would like to do something here with the stick. Tamara Reyna is going to be on deck. She's the one that started this inning with a double and scored a run. The last inning, the, Li the Lions left the bases loaded. They're hoping not to do that again this inning. 1-0 the count. One and one. There's a line drive to center field. The center fielder drops it. Runners are going to have to scramble now. The play at the plate is not in time. So the bases will stay loaded. Yep. Air on the center fielder, but it does drive in a run, so we'll take it. So the bases are still loaded. And like I said, it brings up tomorrow. Reina, the woman, has been killing the softball this year. Must be nice to be a junior in high school and know where you're going to be playing college softball next year. Seven to one is the score. I think that's why she did drop it. Strike one. Oh and one is the count. Bases are loaded, one out. Nobody better to have at the plate with the bases loaded than Reyna. There's a line drive way back to the wall. It's through the wall. Three runs are going to score. Tamar's on her way to third. Oh, the, both runners are there. And they end up getting the girl that should have been running home and didn't. <laughs> wow. That was too bad. Next up to bat, catcher number 13, Malicia Barreda. So a triple. We thought maybe tomorrow might be jacking that one out of the park. The wind held it up, got a triple out of it. Unfortunately, the runner, the runner decided to stop running. There were two girls on third. And it was an easy out for him. <coughs> Brings up Pineda. Ball's outside. Let me get the scoreboard updated here. <coughs> Nine to one here in the bottom of the third. Foul ball, strike one. Ball high, two and one. Pineda has been hit by a pitch and she is single, drove in a run and scored. Nice play by the second baseman will end the inning. <coughs> Goodness. So that time we had seven runs on six hits. 
We left one runner, and after three complete innings of play, it's your Lady Lions nine, the Cougars one. You're watching Lion Country Broadcast Network, fueled by Vipe Live. Parenting is full of surprises. You never know what to expect. So after our son was born, I called my Texas Farm Bureau insurance agent to set up a life insurance policy in case something happened to me. Sawyer is now two. And we'll soon have a sister. There's no one else I would trust with protecting my family. Coverage and discounts are subject to qualifications and policy terms and may vary by situation. Hello, Americans. Mark Twain said, a broken promise is better than no promise at all. Well, you and I both know when we make a promise, we keep it. Chuck Nash Auto Group has been doing that for years. They offer up the kind of one-on-one -on -one service that will follow the taillights of your pre-owned vehicle deep into that gorgeous Texas sunset. By the way, Chuck Nash will give you $750 more for your car, buy or trade. And now you know the best of the story. All right, we are back. Real quickly, want to give some love out to our sponsorships that do not have commercials. We have The Pearl, Ronda Reagan Realty, Diesel Dogs, Snap Fitness, State Farm, and Westies. Well, we have a little lull in the action again. I want to give a shout out to Clarence and Roberta Smith watching there in Austin, Texas. Vanessa Smith back home here in Lockhart doing what she does when she's housekeeping. Nine to one here as we go to the top of the fourth. My pin has decided to jump ship. <clears throat> so Ava Vega will be pitching for us here in the fourth. Had three innings pitched, one run, none earned. One hit, one walk, and four strikeouts. Didn't even know Vega was a pitcher, but she looks pretty good, so let's see what she's got here. Trevino will be the batter here in the top of the fourth inning. Nine to one, Lady Lions. She reached on a walk her first at bat. Two and oh. Reno. <clears throat> and Shill Walker. Walked her on four pitches. 
Brings up Sierra Dickey, the pitcher. She struck out looking her first time at bat. The second walk for Trevino. Whoa, that one got away. Swing and a miss. One and one's the count. No outs. Runner at second. Nine to one. Lady Lions on top. We're in the top of the fourth tonight. And again, it's really weird to be here when it's dark. Ground ball up the middle. Second baseman comes up with a throws to first. And they got her. Great play by the second baseman. So Austin Ibarra, who flew or popped, or no, it was actually a line drive to the first baseman, her last at bat. One out here in the top of the fourth, inside. He called that a strike. Hmm. Must have had a bad angle on that one. 0-1 is the count. Pop fly, second baseman is under it. She'll make the catch, two outs. Brings up number 10, Natalie Rodriguez, the first baseman. So two outs here in the top of the fourth. Nine to one is your score. Rodriguez at the plate. Vega the pitcher here in the top of the fourth. One and one. Ground ball up the middle, shortstop, fires it to first. That'll end the inning, no run score. And we have played three and a half innings now, and it is nine to one, the Lady Lions. You're watching Lion Country Broadcast Network, fueled by Vibe Live. Hello, Americans. Mark Twain said, a broken promise is better than no promise at all. Well, you and I both know when we make a promise, we keep it. Chuck Nash Auto Group has been doing that for years. They offer up the kind of one-on-one -on -one service that will follow the taillights of your pre-owned vehicle deep into that gorgeous Texas sunset. By the way, Chuck Nash will give you $750 more for your car, buy or trade. And now you know the best of the story. Dr. Peterson and his staff at Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic are here to serve you. We've been voted best chiropractor and best chiropractor's office for five years running. Are you bothered by headaches, back pain, or neck pain? Call Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic at 512-668-4163 to make your appointment. Mention this ad to receive a consultation, exam, and x-rays if needed for only $20. Call 512-668-4163 and begin your journey to hope, healing, and health. All right, we're back here, bottom of the fourth inning. I've never seen a fourth inning this season. Bottom of the fourth, it's nine to one. And we will have Jasmine Hedspeth leading it off here, the right fielder. I think that family can play softball though. They seem to be pretty good.
If you ever watch college softball, you probably have seen her sister play quite often as she's tearing it up in college softball. Hits fifth, uh, fielder's choice in the first inning, a single and a run scored in the last inning. We're now in the fourth inning. Give a shout out real quick to Kevin Mills and Jeffrey Michaels and our board members who are keeping the Lion Country thing going here. 2-0 and is the count. I think Emilio just sent me a message with a score update. Wow, Anderson is winning over there in the top of the fifth, 10 to nothing on the boys' side. Swing and a miss there by Headsmith. <coughs> Swing and a miss, strike two. Two and two is the count here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Nine to one, Lady Lions on top. Liz Smith is due up and on deck. Three and two. Oh, it hit her. That's one way to get on base. There we go. So Elizabeth Smith, the left fielder, batting now. They really need to quit stealing all the old music and making it new music. Headsmith at first, no outs. Smith, the batter, she singled. She struck out her first time, singled the second time and scored a run. Headsmith steals second. One and knows the count. Smith has runner in scoring position here with an 1-0 count. And Headsmith will get to third on a wild pitch. Any mistake here is going to move this to 10-1. to Toll is on deck. Toll has singled and walked and scored a run. And it's behind the catcher. And there's a run scored by Headspeth. That'll make it 10 to 1 here in the bottom of the fourth. And the coach is coming out. So just kind of looking ahead here, all we have left with Lion Country Broadcast Network is girls softball. Uh, we'll have the senior night, Friday night at home against Anderson. That'll be a game you will not want to miss. The top two teams in district going at it. If Lockhart can finish that night undefeated, they will clinch the number one spot and we'll be waiting to see who they play from the number four seed in the other district. Okay.
In case you had forgot, Smith is still the batter. 3-0 the count. And she gets walked. CC Toll with a single, a walk, an RBI, and a run scored. The wind has died down just a little bit. Maybe we could see one go out of the park tonight. But not on that one as she bunts it and will sacrifice herself to move the runner. That's one out. Mackenzie Mendoza, the number nine hitter with two singles and a run scored and two RBIs. Two and zero. Oh. <laughs> There's a line drive up the middle. Another hit for Mendoza. A run will score, and she will get a double. I think we're going to be having some co-MVPers on offense tonight. So Ava Vega will come to the plate where she has walked. Actually, yes, yeah, she has walked twice, singled once, scored twice. She's now pitching. 11 to 1 here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Runner at second, one out. <coughs> Chopper up the middle, and it's going to be in, and a run will score. Make that 12 to 1. So runner at first, Tori Escobedo, who has singled and scored a run and struck out twice. She'll come to the plate. 12 to one, Lady Lions have kind of broke it open here in the last two innings offensively. Outside, one and oh. Two and zero. <coughs> Slap down the left side, safe to second. The ball's out in the outfield. There's nobody there to get it. Runner's gonna score. And uh, the batter will advance to third. So number nine, Anita Renteria is gonna bat for Leah Herrera. This will be her first at bat of the evening. A little blooper 
And it falls in. And everybody's going to be safe. Run scores. <laughs> so uh, I've, I've been listening to the two in here. Tamar Reyna, who's doubled and tripled already tonight, if she were to hit a home run right now, that would end the ball game. <laughs> 12 runs have been scored here in the last two innings. Ball in the dirt. If anybody knows who Tamar is, they're not going to give her anything good to hit. Two and a wild pitch. Runner on the way to second. So runner at second, two O's to count, one out, 14 to one is the score. Three and one. There's a drive to left field. It's to the wall. A run will score. Tamar's on her way to second. And she'll stand up with her second double of the night. Every time I see that girl bat, it's like watching George Brett the year he hit 400 or almost did. <laughs> 15 to 1 is the score. Pineda the catcher. Fly balls foul. One more run will end the game. There's one out. Headspit is back on deck, and she started this all off by getting hit by a pitch. Grounder up the middle. That'll do it as Tamar's going to score. Pineda will get the RBI, and that'll do it. So what we'll end up doing here, and we are going to go ahead real quick here and update the scoreboard. Then I will go to commercials, and when I come back, I'll have your offensive and defensive players. Quite a ball game. Started out a little scary. But we end up winning at 16-1. to 1. You're watching Lion Country Broadcast Network, fueled by Vibe Live. Dr. Peterson and his staff at Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic are here to serve you. We've been voted best chiropractor and best chiropractor's office for five years running. Are you bothered by headaches, back pain, or neck pain? Call Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic at 512-668-4163 to make your appointment. Mention this ad to receive a consultation, exam, and x-rays if needed for only $20. Call 512-668-4163 and begin your journey to hope, healing, and health. Johnny and Sons Pain and Body has been Lockhart's premier collision repair and auto body shop since 1967. Certified iCar Standard, the highest ranking in the collision industry. For all your collision needs, come by and see Johnny and Sons 400 Blackjack in Lockhart. Johnny and Sons Pain and Body, we won't steer you wrong. Chisholm Trail Barbecue features slow-cooked brisket, hot sausage, beef, and pork ribs done the right way. In a town famous for barbecue, Chisholm Trail is where the locals come to eat. Visit Chisholm Trail Barbecue, 1323 South Colorado in Lockhart, and come by after the game. Chisholm Trail Barbecue stays open until midnight after every home football game. 
Lockhart Design Build LLC is a general contractor who resides and serves Lockhart residents and surrounding communities. Capehart Design Build LLC is a local builder established in 2006 and is insured, bonded, and accredited by the Better Business Bureau. Capehart Design Build LLC provides both residential and commercial new construction, remodeling services, and specializes in kitchen and bath design. Call 512-784-6940 or email capehartdesignbuild at yahoo.com to schedule a consultation with free estimates. Follow them on Facebook at Capehart Design Build and at Capehart Kitchen Bath. All right, we are back here. The final again, the Lady Lions 16, a stay undefeated against the Cougars. One, 16 to one is your final. Looked a little scary there in the early going as it was two to one. And Cougars actually scored first, but the Lady Lions put them in place the last two innings. Again, winning at 16 to one. So real quickly, we'll go through your uh, Johnny and Sons defensive players of the game. And all of us here in the booth thought the same thing. The girls on the right side of the de uh, defensive infield end up being your Johnny and Sons defensive players of the game. Mackenzie Mendoza, the junior, and CeCe Toll, the junior, will be the Johnny and Sons defensive players of the game. On the other side, you have the Chuck Nash offensive player of the game. Well, Mackenzie Mendoza had a nice night tonight, and she will be one of the offensive players of the game. As, again, a junior. But the girl who's been tearing the, you know what, out of the softball all season long, ended up with a double, two doubles, and a triple, and drove in four RBIs, and that is Tamar Reyna. All juniors tonight on offensive and defensive players of the game. Again, Mackenzie Mendoza, junior, and Tamar Reyna, junior. Chuck Nash, offensive players of the game. That'll do it for us tonight. Our next game will be next Friday, is senior night, as we'll be here playing Anderson. Anderson, the only other team that could knock us off the top spot. So you'll want to watch that one. And that will pretty much do it for us here this evening. We'll see you next Friday. Again, you're watching the Lion Country Broadcast Network. It's fueled by Vibe Live. But before I go, I want to sign off to Randy Fry, the Rock and Rev, the man that started it all for Lion Country Broadcast Network and the guy that got me started doing this five years ago. I want to thank you, sir, and we'll see you again next Friday night.